if you ask a bunch of the bio majors or neuro majors mm -hmm. freshman year, are you pre-med? Upwards of like 70 or 80 or 90% would say that they're pre-med, but then people will drop out after taking like orgo or microbio or something like that. What, what was your experience having like pre-med classmates and seeing them drop out? Mm -hmm. Something to the similar extent where you once you hit the the second year undergrad courses, the OCHEM, the um, biochemistry, the things that are really tested heavily on the MCAT is when you start to see people struggle. Um, I think your mind has to be in it from the get go, to be honest. If you if if you struggle, it's like almost a guarantee that you're going to struggle on the pre-med track. Um, my best story is freshman year, first quarter, first year bio. Uh, first midterm, I, I got like a 71%. I, I'm not even joking, like 71. It's still like, you know, you can you can get, it's a C, you can still pass, but everybody around me was somehow scoring oh. like 89, I 90. See, I see, I see. And it was the first one, right? So uh -huh. I said, wait, if the first one is a 71 for me, then what is going to be the next one, uh -huh. right? Um, but then that's when you have to like find those upperclassmen or those, those weekly sessions on practice questions. And you have to say, this is just one, but maybe I can find something to change what I'm doing and, and go forward. So I think the goal has to be in your mind from the get go. Otherwise you will see people drop.